Rust is known for his safety. There's also an unsafe Rust, the evil twin. No, actually it's not an evil twin. The Rust book goes at great length to explain that it is not. What the Rust book says is that you need to have that kind of leeway at some point in time for certain very specific tasks. If you want to interface the Rust code with C code, for example, or read from a very low level on the board, there's some limitations there to, to what you can achieve within a confined environment such as a Rust program. So this is why people are able to do an unsafe block in Rust, and that avails you of five superpowers now, of course, if you're availing yourself of these five superpowers, there are less checks that are being enforced by the Rust compiler. So there's more ways for you to actually put a noose around your neck. That's the downside. But just to be perfectly clear, you still have ways in safe Rust, so you don't put it in the unsafe block, to actually put the similar noose around your neck. It's more difficult, but it happens. Our experience in Rust field so far has proven to us that sure, a safe Rust is making it a little bit more difficult to implement runtime errors by accident. Not impossible, unfortunately. I mean, you cannot say that just because your block is safe that necessarily, for example, overflows are never going to happen. No, you cannot say that. Even some memory problems may still happen.